check for advanced restart button it's available in this room directly booting into that to the recovery if you don't have that you can press the volume up button and power button simultaneously to boot into recovery Here we go, this is the latest TWRP available for POCO X3. Go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select Dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it. Then go to home section and select install and select the storage, I mean micro SD card and select here wherever you download the ROMG file. First flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 Surya Global. Flash it. Again go to home section and select install and select the rom zip file in this video i am going to express about aex rom version 9.0 official if you select the rom zip file and flash it you can see here this is the rom zip file with march 13 latest build available for poco x3 you can see here aosp extended version 9.0 based on android 12 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed the ROM zip file has flashed successfully. Go to home section and select here. Wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button. Go to again home and select reboot and select the system. This is the flashing method for AEX version 9.0 and 12 with March 13 latest build available for POCO X. In this video, I am going to explain about BGMA gameplay bugs, features and benchmark results battery life everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it is booted into aex rom and let's begin this video hi hello welcome back to mini video guys this is sampathy watching sampath sanfx poco x custom rom reviews this is aex version 9.0 on poco x with android version 12 you can see here and the extend was 1.9.0 official rom this is 5th february 2022 is the security patch and the kernel used here is 4.14.271 snappy hot kernel has been used in this rom and this is a latest build march 13 available and i have been running the cpu throttling test for last five minutes you can see here maximum is 162 average is 139 and minimum is 60 and it's throttled to 80 percent of its maximum performance it was just initially but later on also it's not completely balanced performance you are getting in this room it's a little bit throttling has been det detected here and there let's see how it actually performs in the day-to-day -day task and this is the home screen you get into the home settings you get plenty of options here and into widgets go to clock and select widgets those under 12 widgets are given in this rom as you can see you can adjust them you can change later also that's fine into wallpapers and style you get plenty of wallpapers as you can see i kept this one by default it will come with this one if you want you can change it to any other one or if you want you can use any other third party wallpaper applications also that's not a problem coming to dialer here let me increase a little bit of volume you will get direct video call feature in this rom aex and uh, let's see whether call recording feature is available or not no there is no call recording feature available in this rom that's how it is and coming to like let me open some of the app like play store and split screen option as you can see you can use other app here like this the split screen works in this rom it's working fine no problem regarding that and even one handed mode just swipe here as you can see one handed mode is also working fine in this rom that's how it is and coming to speed test in this rom i have here 100 mps wi-fi connection geo giga fiber it's pulling up to 90 to 95 and even with mobile data also it's working fine carrier aggregation is also given and there is no problem of earpiece in the i mean there is no problem in earpiece during call that's fine and this is the speed test 
let's move into apps one by one and android benchmark results are not going to be good from last three couple of firms as you can see 2 lakh 86 thousand 42 and temperature rise was 1.1 degree celsius and two percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing let me uninstall this it continuously run in the background and it will be difficult make difficult to playable while bgmi that's how it is i uninstall that and geekbench scores also not that great in this rom as you can see single score is 394 and multi score is 1146 and kernel user is 4.14.27 snap a hot kernel has been used in this rom google photos you will get unlimited storage that's not a problem and drm info you will get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution by the way hd this one sim2 is hd capable it's really annoying in couple of roms i am saying why they are added it i don't know they need to remove this i hope they remove the upcoming builds coming to safety net status here you get it get passed such that you can use all the payment applications like google play and google play all the things like whatsapp everything going to be working fine in this room and the maps also going to work fine no problem regarding maps also and camera application there is a google go camera pre-install for basic need you can use this and even video recording is also there but if you want something advanced you can use always the gcam ports and i am using here arno build gcam it's going to be working fine i shown in plenty of the videos you can watch that and uh, coming into settings here comes the print of settings and to the extensions you get print of options you can see here battery settings battery style you can choose from here battery percentage battery bar location you can adjust if you enable that there will be lot more options enabled and you can adjust them into clock and date settings here also print of customization available in this rom status bar item you can enable or disable them traffic indicators are also given you can place them carrier label is also given into lock screen and custom carrier label if you want you can keep that also misc extension ax logo here you go ax logo if you want you can keep on the right side too show data disable 4g icon roaming indicator small mobile type icon combined signals icon battery bluetooth status and location access indicator camera mic access indicator status bar brightness control these are the misc settings extensions are available if you swipe like that there is a quick settings panel settings and go to notification kill app button annoying notification heads up heads up plus annoying vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here into quick settings quick settings pull down and footer warnings smart pull down there are options vibrate on touch on the qs tiles you can enable or disable battery estimate running service icon and edit icon show brightness slider brightness slider in qs panel adaptive brightness button brightness slider on bottom you can enable or disable those things and animation style are also given and duration is also you can adjust and interpolator animation tiles also you can adjust from here this is all the extensions you get here into the navigation bar you get system navigation on screen navigation and arrow keys while tapping into system navigation gesture settings i mean gesture navigation left edge right edge left edge right edge and pill length you can adjust but there is no option to increase the pill height or the radius if you want you can use the traditional three button navigation button show arrow keys while typing i mean like this if you enable as you can see you can disable that that's how it is and the swipe to screenshot is working fine three fingers that's how it is gestures and locks in shortcuts and locks in ui that's how the customization here you get success vibration error vibration ripple effect charging information small clock double tap and lock screen to sleep or wake on those and show media art and media art blur level you can adjust music visualizer is also given lava lamp automatic color those options are given into this one battery buttons customization and general tweaks into that battery battery and charging light is also given plenty of options in customization this is 
and buttons you get power menu advanced start button is also available in this room volume tops and steps sorry toggle touch and screen off you can enable or you can keep it long press power button reorient volume rocker keyboard cursor control also you can adjust from here into buttons i shown you customization you get monet engine use black team as i can see now i will show you let me show you this quick settings panel let me add these options here wi-fi location dark theme now let me enable that let's turn off the location dark theme as you can see now it's in pitch black condition that's i really like it if it is gray or anything like that i don't like it and that's how it was there in the android 11 but in the android 12 themed icons like that they introduced it look like something odd but anyhow in this particular room they have given options to make pitch black conditions let me go to extensions again here customization monitor as you can see use this black theme options let me disable the dark mode and into the power button you get like this and screen recording there are plenty of options you can record device audio and microphone together while recording that option is also there and i can pack signal i can pen wi-fi i can pack i can shape also plenty of options are given general tweaks are given toast app icon and charging animation this all the customization available on aex version 9.0 for poco x3 i hope you like the video if you like it give it a like and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon into notifications here you get bubbles feature conversation and device and app notification notification lock screen and sensitive notification notification lock do not disrupt option is also given you can see here you can select the apps here and duration of quick settings also you can adjust and display options for hidden notifications are also given in this rom into battery settings thermal profiles are given individual app you can set the thermal profiles and battery saver extreme battery saver is also present coming to battery life as you can see one hour seven minutes ago screen on time is one hour five minutes it's decent not great or anything like that but definitely it's going to be one of the best battery backup roms and battery temperature you can see battery manager and battery saver as i said before and uh, coming to sound settings you get all the basic sound settings you can enable or disable from here increasing volume do not disturb here also it's present live caption is also there media show player and show media recommendations are also available in this from touch vibration the, there is no option to choose the strength but you can enable or disable that and me sound enhancer i mean direct sound settings are given even enable hi-fi that is also present it makes really difference in listening the audio while using the headphones do try it out guys this is also a cool feature to have and display settings all the basic settings i explained minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate and four speak refresh rate are given here and full screen naps whichever app you feel that it's not playing in full screen you can select from here that's how it is all the basic things are given and maximum customizations are included in the rom as example accessibility menu why they remove i don't know here it's missing everything they give but they removed that and into the security settings fingerprint unlock is there there is no face unlock and encryption credential this rom is encrypted fingerprint i added let me show you the fingerprint speeds as you can see it's not the fastest when you touch it it takes exactly one second and then unlocks that's how it is location as i said also maps google maps everything are working fine in this room into system you get plenty of options here into gestures as is shown before if you long press the power button you can use the google assistant like that many gestures are also present in this room let me show you the bgma gameplay what all the settings available and how it will handle in this particular room And to make your smartphone cool remove the case guys while playing if you want to play continuously remove the case and play and don't plug in the charger while playing the games it will helps a lot for your smartphone to run cooler remove any type of case available then remove it and play it oh no.
okay coming to graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra and rgb is high there is no extreme settings here by default it's not enabled if you want you can use any jfx tool then you can enable it If you are looking for a gaming ROM, you should check for gaming stability, not for game settings. You can enable using as I said GFX tool and file transfer method, that's not a problem. You should check for stableness, how it is handling the game. And the loudness also fine enough in this ROM. I'll come back and I'll show you the charging animation in this room. As you can see, and it shows charging slowly, but slowly it okay. I have plugged a 10 watt charger. Sorry. Now let me plug this one. As you can see, it slowly gets sl charging rapidly. It's working fine. High speed charging, I mean turbo charging. That's how it is, and you will get that wobbling effect of Android 12. Charging speeds and char battery life is also decent here in this room. That's how guys you can definitely try it out as a daily driver. If you are already trying out as a daily driver to mention your experience, how is this ROM for you? And thank you for watching guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that keeps going. Bye bye for now.